If you've never gardened before, lettuce is a great place to start. It germinates and grows quickly, and you can start harvesting in less than a month. In this video, I'm going to show you how to go step by step from seed to harvest. I'm even going to include some science-backed companion planting strategies to help keep your garden pest-free and some space-saving strategies so you can grow more in a smaller space. Let me know in the comments what your favorite variety of lettuce is to grow. For all lettuces, timing is key. You can start indoors in a freezing winter 10 weeks before your last frost date. And then you can transplant them outdoors three to four weeks prior to that last frost date. Lettuces can take frost and keep going, but if a hard freeze is expected, you're going to want to cover them up with some type of floating row cover like fleece or anything to keep the frost off of them. If you want to sow them directly into the garden, you can start that about four to six weeks before your last frost date. Lettuce seeds are small and difficult to place far enough apart. A great tip for spreading those seeds out is to use an old shaker bottle from the kitchen. Take four parts sand and one part seeds, put them in the shaker and shake. Then as you sprinkle, the sand will naturally spread the seed out so you have less thinning to do. I want to thank Birch Mattress for sponsoring this video. Birch makes mattresses with organic and natural materials that are sustainably sourced. I've been through a lot of mattresses that lose their shape, aren't comfortable, with a bad back I'm pretty picky, but this mattress is the most comfortable I've ever had, and the safest without all the hazardous materials of traditional mattresses. Birch assembles their organic award-winning mattresses in America using organic latex tapped from trees, wool from New Zealand sheep, American steel springs, and organically grown cotton. If you're a hot sleeper like me, you'll be glad to know that Birch mattresses are naturally temperature regulating. Of course, everyone is different, so Birch offers a 100-night sleep trial so you can make sure you love your mattress. Also, to help you sleep better, they offer a 25-year warranty, flexible payment plans, and financing options. They ship free and also offer in-home setup and removal of your old mattress. Birch has launched their Black Friday sale, and you can get 25% off your purchase for a limited time by visiting birchliving.com slash nextlevelgardening. There are two kinds of lettuce you can grow, head lettuce and leaf lettuce. Head lettuce takes more time and more space, and leaf lettuce is quick growing and can be tucked in just about anywhere. Lettuce is like a moist, rich soil no matter what type you grow, but they will grow in most spaces and can even handle partial shade in the summer. Not in the winter though. If you're growing it in the winter, it needs at least six hours of direct sun. Now lettuce is primarily a cool season crop, so if you live where summers are warm and you're trying to grow lettuce in the summer, it's probably not going to work. You'll need to wait until fall. But in the cool season, it germinates really quickly as long as the temperatures stay under 80 degrees. Even sowing with a shaker, you're going to need to probably thin a little bit. Leaf lettuce needs to be thin so they are spaced 4 to 6 inches apart, and head lettuce 12 inches apart. Now, this section here is more than ready to be thinned. So starting at one end, I just get some scissors and I leave the first one and then I cut off the rest at ground level. Anything between that one first one and the next strongest looking one, four to six inches down the line. The reason I cut them off rather than pull them out is when they're this close together, the roots of the ones you're keeping are entangled with the ones you're pulling out. So pulling disrupts and dislodges the roots for the ones you're keeping and can stunt their growth or even kill them. And you can eat the thinning, so there's really no waste. Most lettuces are surface sown, but some need a thin covering of soil, and you want to make sure they're kept evenly moist until they germinate. A liquid organic feeding helps to make more robust leaves and can be applied every two weeks. I use Neptune's Harvest fish and seaweed formula. The reason I fertilize is to bring on more growth faster. Fast growth not only gets you a harvest quicker, but it also makes the lettuce sweeter and crunchier. Slow growing lettuce has a tendency to be bitter and soft. In the case of head lettuce, you want to make sure the head is the right size before harvesting. It should feel firm and completely filled out before you cut it off from the stalk. I haven't grown a lot of head lettuce uh, other than romaine, and even with romaine, I treat them like a cut and come again lettuce. Cut and come again just means that you remove the outer leaves frequently for salads and new growth will continue to grow from the center of the plant. Now you can also just clip off the entire plant an inch or so above the soil and it will regrow within days. You can get three or more harvests per plant 
doing this way, but it will eventually give up. So you want to succession sow your lettuces. Succession sowing just means sowing some seeds, maybe in a, a row, maybe four feet long, uh, and do that every couple of weeks. So there's always new ones coming in to replace the old ones. You don't want a 50 foot row of lettuce because unless you're growing to sell it, you're never gonna be able to use all that lettuce at one time. Lettuce can sometimes be attacked by aphids and flea beetles and cutworms. Studies show that planting alyssum next to lettuce protects it from aphids, and they're a great visual combination as well. Alliums like garlic and onions have a scent that aphids don't like. Also because they're a root crop, they won't mind sharing the soil with a shallow rooted crop like lettuces. Plus lettuces grow so fast, they'll be done and gone by the time those onions are filling out or the garlic is starting to bulb. Broccoli and cabbage are other slow growing plants. They get big, but they are slow growing. So they make a great companion plant for lettuces. These crops take up a lot of garden space for a long period of time. And so you can have crop after crop of lettuce in and around broccoli and cabbage before those broccoli and cabbage are even ready to harvest. For a complete growing guide on how I get this kind of broccoli harvest, click this video and I'll see you guys next time.